I love that sound, dude. Oh, man. Back like we never left, eh? I love that sound even more. Oh, my man. I love that sound even more. Welcome to it. This is Working Title FC. And listen, we are back back now. You know, we're not like... Yeah, exactly. We're not like... You know when uh, in the 90s when South American players used to go back for qualifiers? (laughs) Oh, then they missed a plane and then they lost their passport and it took them like four months to get back. Exactly. Um, No, this is the time we're back back. Working Title FC. We are a mostly football podcast um we currently in the final week hopefully not of our title as the uh african podcast and voiceover awards Mm -hmm. sports podcast of the year the new winners announced next week hopefully we've gone back to back back hopefully but even if even if we don't i mean we're the trailblazers so yeah man also that's it dude we'll we'll be back for our title if if we've if someone else gets it it, it's good makes us go back to We've got to be humble, you know. Yeah, of it's course, it's, bro. it's uh, easy to get to the top. It's harder to stay, stay there, there. But let's see, let's see what we do. So you hear it over there. The all. Uh, my name is Paolo. If this is your first time, maybe I, you l- forgot. L- l- last I checked, it was Paolo. Maybe you forgot, and you are the all essential, all essential senso. Welcome back. Gracias. It gracias. has been a time. It has been a time, guys. Yes. Uh, so yeah, it's just been a lot on the personal front. I recently became a father. Ye- so, yeah, um, now you guys have to put bass in your voice when you talk to me because I'm someone's dad. Um, <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so it's just been that and just, yeah, focusing on my kid and all that. But it's been a great time. That's it. The man is doing good things. Listen, you may, you're a voice who is not here, young Ryan Tinline. Um, he is doing the things out in Ireland. Ireland. Oh. Um, he's having a great time over there. He's probably listening right now. I should hope so. What's up, Ryan? Listen, he's loving it there because that boy loves music. He loves the music scene yeah. and being out in Europe and, and especially yeah, they're, Ireland. They're, they're, you're so they're. close. Mm. Uh, I got to tell you, the boy is uh, the the boy loves clout. That hasn't changed, yeah, bro. I mean, but he's young, bro. Like you know, young people. You know, they 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 love clout. Mo, clout is yeah, it's currency. He he sat in the online queue for Oasis tickets. Um, uh, he didn't it, get them. He didn't get them. Yeah, FOS is anyway because they yeah. man, they Man City boys. So like, right. whatever. Exactly. So um, uh, that is young Ryan. But listen, not only are we back, listeners are back. We're so so thankful you guys are here. Thank you for being patient because we know there's a lot of sports content out there, Ooh. but we don't think anyone's doing sports content like us, right? Absolutely not. Uh, but there are new listeners because you may be listening to this for the first time. We have relaunched the show in partnership with IOL, mm-hmm. Independent Online. This might be the first time you're listening to this podcast. Uh, you're one of the guys who found us through IOL. Welcome to it. Uh, we hope that you enjoy Working Title FC. And now the reason we've gone this way is because we want to do good things for listeners. This is Absolutely. Like we have fun. Senzo and I can go to a bar and talk about soccer Sport, yeah, till, till, the, it, till the cars come right? on. But we think we do it in a way that's like entertaining to people and, Absolutely. and it's proven. So, uh, but we want to give you guys something back. So that's why we've kind of took our time, get our stuff right. We do a better show. We get more listeners. Mm. We get more listeners. It gives us opportunity to bring things to you guys. So Absolutely. share the show with a friend. You know what I mean? Be a friend, tell a friend. Uh, let's get more friends. And that's what yeah. I'm saying. Get listeners up. You know, maybe you have a friend who you say, i got this great podcast. you got to listen to this. I don't listen to podcasts. You know, I don't know how to. It's too mm-hmm. difficult. I don't have an iPhone, blah, blah. You, go, you know what? Go to IL.co.za, look for podcasts. We're there. So it's easy. Do you know what? I used to be that person as well. But like, it's for me, it's like, podcasts work when you don't feel like listening to radio and you don't feel like listening to music and you just feel like you want to hear something. Not that you're going to be like seriously fixated on mm-hmm. it and just, yeah, it's seamless as well. So, yeah. That's it. And you know what? We hope. I've got friends that work out to podcasts. They work out to our podcast. But that's it, dude. That's it. Energetic. Yeah, it's energetic. Exactly. Get get the buzz up, get the energy up. So that is our introduction. We're coming up a whole bunch of new uh, features over the course of the season. We'll chuck a few in every single show. We did launch a series called Goat Farm. Yeah, um, which uh, was popular, but we want to relaunch it. We're going to put the full episodes in the in the feed. But uh, we are going to drop a uh, portion of it. Uh, mm. Later on in this episode, just to give you a taster, just to give. Well, we're actually going to give you the full episode oh, yeah, in well. this. They're short. They're snack size. Yeah, they are snack size. Um, <laughs> exactly. Nice to have snacks. Exactly. Right. So, oh, that stab was stabby. Did you? It was stabby. It very, jolts you, bro. Very stabby. So, listen. Uh, we are a mostly football podcast. Um, 
Senzo is not used to the studio, the fluctuating temperature it's in the hot, studio. Really, so like it's, it's hot, cold. then it's cold, uh, then yeah, it's... Yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's, also, it's also like, you know, a hospital room, like, sometimes <laughs> it's hot, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's aircon, sometimes it isn't, so like, yeah, man. Where, just do, you, just, where do you sit on it? Right, so... Um, what do you want to do when we talk about sports stories? We've got a new th- way of doing it and we call it five aside. Mm. Each one of us is going to bring five football stories to mm-hmm. the table. Um, they could be matching football stories. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're things that are hot right now or mm-hmm. hot in the past couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, but dude, I want to start off with, uh, we got to, if you don't know, Senzo and I are both Manchester United um, yeah, suffer- yes. sufferers. Yeah, suffer- sufferers. Sufferers. Ah, oh, but yeah. It's, mm. Eric Ten Hag getting his biggest win it's since seven, he's been manager. Seven love, yeah. Okay. Technically playing a third division side. I know I know they're all yeah, yeah, yeah. political about it. Yeah. What division one, your mm. third division. Yeah, your third division. Yeah. Um, you, you know, bullying. I mean, throws Bruno Fernandes on for no reason. But listen. You can only beat what's in front of you. Exactly. Goals are good. Rashford, he's a he's a, a streaky player. He's a confidence guy, bro. He's so a confidence he's guy. And the thing in is, a good like, streak now. Yeah, uh, one three and two games. I uh, do you know what? I think it's it's a good sign. Do you know why? Because also the rotation. Because we 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 there were, there were we changed five guys, right? Mm-hmm. And besides that, we've previously struggled against. Non like non top tier opposition commentary that was, we struggled that was a banana skin coming and Newport right. Newport we struggled mm. so but this you know this is this is good after the, you know after we the three 0 from Southampton you have to you, you can only build on that because we got Palace next and Palace is, Palace away has never been an easy fixture for us you know the thing for Ten Hag is um, he like people are waiting to shit on United and, and At, we, exactly listen we know a lot of content producers that. United being good is bad for them. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad for their brand, exactly. You know, and and, and listen, that's what you're gonna, not going to get on this podcast. We're mm. not the guys who are going to scream and rant and just make crazy emotional statements. I mean, also because you, we actually kind of do watch football because the thing is, <laughs> crap is crap. You can you can dress a turd up in a tux; it's still a turd, right? All right. So, um, but the thing with Ten Hag is there was a bit of a run of fixtures that could have been a hell of a banana skin for it yeah, yeah you know because um you just look at the profile of teams of like southampton mm. uh barnsley mm. uh i think they've got fc20 coming yeah, up yeah. crystal palace yeah so there is a lot of potential to kind of like geez get sacked yeah uh, basically and he's he's navigated them so but i don't think he's out of the woods yet navigating because, them i don't think he's out of the woods yet because after that you know after liverpool especially i mean i think he must have been given to you know, after the, the I think it's international break to international break. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I think the next one is going to be what um, middle of November. No, October already. October, but like mm. I think he's got until November, like that yeah. that run of like nine, ten fixtures, and that's where you can see. Okay, is this is this guy turning the corner, or is it much of the same thing? And if you're going to pull the plug, you might as well pull it then. And I I, th- I think Ineos know what they're doing behind the scenes. And and listen, I'll tell you one thing that they have done that I think is a masterstroke. <laughs> Um, because it gets him out of jail. Because obviously they're not going to fire Ten Hag in the summer because this gives them an out. They can get rid of him. They've got Ruth van Nistelrooy sitting there. What an easy PR win as a takeover because he's been in the situation before. Yeah. He's taken over a team in this situation before. Exactly. Um, United legend. Mm. So he's going to get a lot of uh, a lot of time from yeah. the fans. Yeah, and back again. Yeah. Um, so I think they've played an absolute master stroke. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. You know, we yeah, need, exactly. We need stability. We need stability. All right. So um, one thing United aren't in. Listen, great to see United playing midweek. Uh, on a Champions yeah. League night. <laughs> yeah, no Tuesday. <laughs> you, know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. you know, we are playing on a Champions League night. Uh, the new Champions League format. Uh, we just finished, man. Three, three, they, three, they, three they, match days. Yeah. There are a lot of... I think it was only this week that there were three match days. But like the the the, the knockout... Well, this phase of the Champions League only ends in January. So, yeah. yeah it's So... Uh, what are your what are your thoughts on it? So listen, I mean, by now you should have got your head around it. It's mm. one league table. Yes, everyone plays eight games, but not nine. double uh, nine in this round. Eight, I yeah, think eight, it's, eight, I think eight, it's eight. eight. Yeah, yeah. Um, not against you. There's no double headers. Exactly. It's just you just play. Yeah, um, so yeah. And then I think the top eight go through automatically. Top eight, yeah, top eight get automatic to the round of sixteen. Then yeah. nine to twenty four play um, a two legged yeah. two legged uh, tie. And from there, and if you finish below, uh, if you, so teams 25th to, th- to 36th, you're out of Europe. There's no Europa uh, no, preview, like no you're gone. Net. Um, what do you think about it? I, I, I love it. I love mm. it because now there's no hiding. One, yeah. also, it's, it's, it's more difficult to win the Champions League now because it doesn't matter. You and I can both play the same guy. Have you seen Liverpool's fixture list? That's dreadful. Yeah. But now there's no hiding because 
other, the only protection you get is if people are in the same country as you, are from mm-hmm. the same country mm-hmm. as you. Other than that, it's all bets are off. And and what I like about it is, listen, there is the argument about um, player fatigue, but dude, I don't, I don't like. I don't feel I don't am I wrong in that I don't feel bad about that? No, neither do I because these guys are also getting paid multi million. Because players are saying, oh, we'll go on strike. But you know what the thing is? It's like, okay, yeah, you can moan. Trust me, there is a guy ready to take your place. Oh, if, 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 you, 100%. If, if there's too many games for you, don't play. I'll 100%, take your place. Yeah, you know what I mean? They're guys itching on the bench. They're guys yeah. who are sitting on big wages and just like, what am I doing here? I'm yeah. not playing. Like, you know, you feel me? It's like you live a very nice lifestyle because of the way football is. Don't complain yeah, exactly. about it, right? But anyway, that's, that's a whole other discussion. What I like about the format of the Champions League, right? So I support, along with Manchester United, I support kind of like a, a team from the next tier of. Uh, nation sporting sporting Portugal mm. um, uh, Portuguese champions Ugarte comes from there bro the, okay if you need to know Ronaldo comes from, from there, there yeah. if you really yeah, need yeah. to Luis know Luis Figo comes from there uh, kind of, the only the only f- academy that's produced two Ballon d'Or winners, Ballon d'Or winners okay yeah, so yeah. just it, it, put the respect uh, on, put, on the respect, put the respect yeah. on the name not Sporting Lisbon yeah. Sporting Portugal right <laughs> um, and um, Previously in the Champions League, so you end up in a group you play with Man City, right? Because we're never going to avoid them because yeah. of the way seedings work. You then just got to know now I'm playing for second and yeah. I've got a right of six points, right? Now, yeah, I'm, yeah. now Sporting go, okay, well, we they're going to play City and they're going to play Arsenal, but it's more stacked because there's a much better clearer pathway yeah. um, to get into that first eight places yeah. than just going, oh, well, you know, now we're all, there's two of us playing yeah. uh, for second place. I just think, I think it's more fair. It I is more think fair. Um, there is no hiding place. There's no hiding now. Uh, the, the winners are going to come from the same teams. Exactly. Uh, it's going to come from the same teams, but I think the potential for that second tier of teams, and, yeah. and that's what a lot of people don't quite realize uh, when... Yeah. They look at when UEFA does this. It's easy to shit on them. Yeah. Okay. But the second tier of teams, it opens up for them. So much more. Listen, it's going to be super damaging for their leagues because, you yeah. know, now if Sporting look to be on a couple of good years, they're going to generate a lot of money from this new format Absolutely. of Champions League, Absolutely. which is going to completely skew the Portuguese league. It's going to completely skew these leagues. Absolutely. But, I mean, uh, uh, Bayern Munich give Dinamo Zagreb. And 9 two. Those guys have won title after title after title after title after title after title. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's just, listen, I, I like the new format. I think let it settle. Yeah, let, um, yeah, let it settle. But like, it's going to be interesting because the transfer window happens right in there's still two match days in now, the transfer and window. And now, now um, the, the, the UEFA is getting, the Ballon d'Or is going to be part of the UEFA. Like UEFA is going to come, like the Champions League is going to come more towards Ballon d'Or. So like now it's also going to give people an incentive to Actually, Ferdinand's creaming his pants, man. Yeah, he is. Ferdinand is creaming. Did, did you see that clip with Vinicius in the Champions League final? Ferdinand, we haven't had a show since. No, then. no, no, no. Oh, there's a clip went around of when uh, Vinicius Junior scores in the Champions League final in the build up to play Rio Ferdinand. He's going blondo, blondo. Uh, but it's like, dude, you are a man in your forties. It is not right to be obsessing. Yeah, exactly. Over something like that. Anyway, he does it for the clout. Maybe we do as well. Maybe yeah, maybe we, get, we do. As maybe well. we get big and yeah. we lose. Um, <laughs> we lose focus. No, we've been there before, uh, and we won't do this now. Um, uh, City didn't get off to a great. Uh, no, not that. Inter Milan are really good. No, though. they are good. They're organized. Yeah, that, that, they're that, organized. That's a, that's a little bit of a dynasty coming there. I think. Yeah, I also think that. so because like Juventus, Juventus, I think Juventus have gone back to the drawing board. They, yeah, yeah. They, they have to. Gone scra- young. Yeah, they've scrapped everything and they yeah. said, listen, Keza, be out and then, you know, oh, but deal these, do you see goal? Oh, man. my God. But, but, but across Juventus, a lot of young players, yeah. Weston McKinney, they've got the dude on a diet, Yeah, looking sharp, Thiago Mata doing interesting things, oh, but yeah. not yet. I think Inter are going to have you a couple of give years. Them time, yeah. um, Roma, no chance. <laughs> Bro, you know us. Dude, they just shot Bambi, bro. Fired Rossi. What are you? Anyway. Uh, bro, there's a lot going on. It's the Yanks, bro. It's the Yank owners, bro. Man. Anyway, so City didn't get off to... They got off to expected start. They're playing the champions of Serie A. I mean, yeah, I come mean, on. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, you, let, gonna, let, let's be fair. You're not going you, to go 4-0 go them. Four, four nil them. They, yeah, that, yeah. That's not how it works. And right. also, they played them in the final, and they only won 1-0 yeah, yeah. Them two years ago, yeah. two seasons ago. Um, City's charges, dude. Bro, that, that that case started. Who's sweating more, Diddy or Diddy or City? The, the Diddy or City. 
They both did he, they, 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 they they're both sweating. Trust me. But like especially what Who I'm, needs more lube? Who? Hey, Diddy's got a thousand Ooh. a thousand bottles of lube, send oh, it over. Bro, yes. But like the thing is, like I say with the city thing, either way, you know, there's not gonna be a real winner after this because it's going to even if City do even if they do win this beat the beat the charge mm. charges, it's gonna tarnish their reputation yeah. like big time. Yeah. Big big time. Like I think that like that's kinda it for them. And I don't know, like what do you make of the whole thing, Paolo? You know, they've already threatened. They said, we we will wrap this thing up. We will tie this thing up in legislation and lawyers and lawyers. We will lawyer up. Okay. For as long as, for as, long as we can. Yeah. That's what's the, the kind of disappointing thing. Mm. The Premier League have got to make a stand because they're going, you know what? We can't be made to look like idiots. We can't let them lawyer up. And we can't keep on letting this happen because like, you know, at what point does it stop? Yeah. Where, where's exactly... You know, um, well, there's, there's going to be some compromise. That's how I feel. Yeah. Um, there's some interesting punishments, though. Like, we're not legal experts, and it's a very boring case. It's not boring. It's, it's just it's, a lot of red it's tape. It's a lot of stuff, right? It's, it's a, a lot, lot of, of stuff yeah. and, and, and clever people and lawyers being lawyers. Um, but the one thing I want to kind of talk about are some of the punishments that have been suggested. Mm. So, of course, stripping titles, right? That's That's the one. I don't think like okay if they if they get stripped right who do, who do those majority of the titles go they go to us in Liverpool well so there there would be one that would go to us right I wouldn't want that I also don't want it like that like a, so don't give me stripped titles rather no one um, there is the other talk of um, not a once off points deduction but points deductions over a period of years so they said a hundred uh, points deduction spread over five years. So that's so 20 each year. 20, still enough to get them into conference league, probably. It's still enough to get them I mean, challenging, challenging, yeah. challenging, right? Yeah. So um, they're, they're, never, they're not going to be relegated. Yeah, they, yeah it's, no. it's, it's just that's not going to happen. Fines, money means nothing to them. Yeah, my money, yeah, money is Points, means deductions need. with Pep in the same squad. It's not going to make a difference, yeah. right? I think asset strip. Reassign, but, you're losing your players. Ooh. And not only are you not allowed selling them, you have other teams to, get them. You have to give your players a, a trade exchange. <sighs> Trades. You have to trade your players. Rodri, you, Rodri for Casemiro. First thing. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Rodri for Casemiro. But I, you, I, I don't know. Th- 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 because uh, you know, even if it does come down to a punishment, even if it does come down to a punishment, what's adequate though? There's no punishment that. Um, that fits the crime. Exactly. And that hurts them. That hurts them. They are so rich. They are so, so, I mean, we watch it. We watch what happens, but I don't think, do you think there do, is a do, punishment do, do, that do, hurts them. Do you think if they, if they get what happens to Juve, you remember Juve went down to like Serie B or Serie C, um, do you think that's fair? You know, but the thing with Juve, uh, so so if, if maybe you're too young to remember that, Juve match fixing, they went down. But the thing, they went down. And Del- they kept all their players. And they Buffon said they stayed. stayed, all, Del- all the- stayed. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it's only like Zlatan that left. because Look, uh, yeah. C- City's not going to... I can't see any City player doing that. Yeah. Um, you know, um, it's today, I mean, I'd be very surprised. Um, I can't see it happen, especially because the Premier League acts as a separate entity to um, the Football League. Yes, yes. So it's like, is are, are you... You know, do they want them? It's not this... I, I don't know. I don't know. It's... um. I just don't see, even if they punish him, punish him, what punishment actually hurts City. You know, it's like, uh, not Pe- playing Champions League, maybe. <sighs> you know, because then that then Pep goes, oh, you know what? I don't want to be part of this. This is yeah. to my name. Uh, maybe, maybe, but it, that's a separate competition. Exactly, exactly, you know what I mean? exactly. Yeah, it, it's uh, and and listen, UEFA have had a go at City before, mm, and they lost. Um, but um, I don't know. It's just just. Uh, no punishment hurts them. Uh, listen, do you want to bring anything to the Fiverr side yet? Oh, did you see the th- 30 players, Ballon d'Or and Ballon d'Or, Ballon d'Or shortlist? Mm. What do you think? Uh, I would be very disappointed if it's not Vinicius. I think... Um, I think it's between three. Yeah. It's Vinicius, Rodri, and um, Bellingham. Jeez. But I think Bellingham, because of 
Bellingham, him being Bellingham. No, I'm not taking away anything from the kid. It's I, I, I reckon um, his Euro wasn't great. We got to the final, though, bro. I know, I know. Do players like Bellingham win Ballon d'Ors? The goal scorers do. Yeah, I think that's kind of like. Uh, but if if we are being fair, Rodri, I, oh, Rodri also has a good shot. Again, players like Rodri don't win it. Yeah, Vinicius is just that uh, Brazil um, yeah, yeah. sold the bed in Copa America. So uh, I, don't, I don't know. You know, a Brazilian striker. Just give it to Messi. Of, that's right. Give it to him again. Bring him back in. <laughs> give um, it to Messi. Listen, I want to talk to you um, about a player. He scored in midweek, his Champions League debut. A guy that a couple of people are sleeping on. Um, not sleeping on. I think it shows the the changing face in football. I want to talk to you about the guy outscoring Harry Kane and killing Mbappe. Tell us. Um, he's my boy, uh, Victor Giocares. Um, If maybe you haven't heard of him, he plays in Portugal, plays in Sporting. The guy is in the year of 2024. Because you know some of these goal scoring lists run like that. Yeah, right? they're, they're weird. Yeah. They take calendar year. Um, he is the... Let me get his numbers up here. He has scored, including his... Uh, Goals in the Champions League, 34 goals this calendar season, um, of where Haaland is on 28, uh, and, and Mbappe and is on 28 as well, and, and Kane. Ha- Harry Kane on 28, they're all on 28. <sighs> so he, he is, now, okay, the, you may have noticed that the others are playing in the Liga, Premier League, and, and Bundesliga, Bundesliga yeah. versus Portugal, so I do get it. Um, that includes... Um, International goals includes but obviously still, bro. Thirty-four. The, the, you know, slouch, bro. What I was quite surprised about is going like, listen, you know, the thing in the Portuguese league is the team with the, the best scorer wins the league. That's that's just how it's always been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and um, of course, we won the league last year with him. He came from interesting. He like was at Brighton for a while. Yeah, he na- was, yeah. Na- naturally, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, and then he had a bright start. Didn't work out. He went to Coventry. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Sporting bought him from Coventry, and he just like never, no he one never looked back. back from there. Uh, and despite like everyone be, being linked with him, Arsenal, United, Chelsea, as usual, no one came in for him. And it's like, listen, I'm super glad because you know it gives us a chance to you know uh, defend our title. Plus, gives us a good run in the Champions League because yeah. the guy is just a natural goal scorer. Um, it opens up the question about uh, strikers. And number nines, because previously you go, geez, a dude scoring goals like that with a relatively low release clause. Yeah. You know, in, in, in a selling league, yeah. no one goes for him, right? But it raises the question of but how also, different you, you number nines are. In, 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 in Europe, there was this, I think everybody's hands were a bit tied. Mm. You didn't want to go out there, you know, and go dip your hand in the, unless, unless you like Atleti. Atletico Madrid, because they spent, uh, they, they broke bank for people. They did, but I, I think that, 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 that financial reality is really starting to hit teams yeah. of where they're going, especially the Premier League. Before they would have gone, get him, it doesn't yeah. work, we get rid of him. You know, not everyone's following the Chelsea model. Um, but um, it does hit, and especially for teams going, we don't play with that number nine anymore. Yeah. You know, even like Ivan Tony. Being available for like Bro, and, almost and he's nothing, tried and, and he's tried and tested. He's he, tried and tested I in England. So I also found it bizarre. And look, like, he, he's got a, he's got the background, okay, of course. And, but I mean, you know, it's not like a he was banned for drug use or honestly, any physical yeah, exactly um, problems um, that could affect him physically. But but it just shows that target man number nine. You are the. I mean, if you think, I think of the, the lo- elite the, teams, the the last the, the last pure guy like that was Harry Kane. But but, but, but so, Harry Kane's also like a hybrid because but, the thing is like drops. you can, you, you can do you can do whatever yeah. you want him to. I do. I mean, your only target man number nine is Haaland, but I mean he's such a freak of nature. nature exactly. Um, because the difference is when you look at Sporting, Sporting got a lot of very good players. The team's built around him. Yeah, it's built around his it's strength. Strength. Yeah, and teams don't do that anymore. Exactly. They're like you know we got guys coming from inside. We got uh, mm. guys pushing from midfield. The wing. Yeah. You know we got fullbacks coming in. So it's that focal point number nine is is, is very different. So. Sure, um, anyway, the dude is outscoring Harry Kane, Haaland, and Mbappe. Long uh, may it continue, because if it does, mean Sporting are winning yeah, things. But d- well, another argument, do you think Do you think now it's better to be stacked up front or be stacked in the midfield? Uh, midfield, man. Yeah. Did you see Ancelotti talking while he's talking about that? Says he's ba- he's changing to a four-man mid- midfield. Bellingham, Chumeni, 
uh, Valverde Kamavinga. and Kamavinga. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. You're not getting the ball there. <laughs> Other teams are not getting the ball. <laughs> Come on. And they're, if you do... And then it's, it's, Vinny, it's, Vinny, and, it's Vinny and Mbappe up front. Oh, oh they're going to score 3,000 goals this season. Come on. Going back to 4-4-2. Carlo, bring it back, man. No, Christmas yeah, bring, tree. Yeah, bring, Christmas yeah, tree. Honestly. It's, it's got to be a midfield diamond on that, right? Yeah, it has to be a diamond because... But yeah. I mean, like, that's just showing... But he's got bro. the right players to do it, though. But you think you're dropping Rodrigo, man. Oh, bro. Jeez, I'm sorry, man. Someone, it's, someone's someone, got to someone, go. go, bro. Listen, they play a lot of games. So, I mean, if, yeah. if you're kind of... Back up to Mbappe and Vinny. You're Carl. not mad. I'm not mad at all. You know, but um, good player though. But anyway, that's that's just showing off. But so right. to the point. I mean, listen, Carlo Ancelotti knows Don Carlo. Uh, Don, Don Don's already he's already cooked this up. That's why I said I'm going. No. You said Brazil. Wait, wait a bit. Like yeah, I, yeah. I've got something. No, no. I've got something good here. I got. I kind of. This is interesting to me. Yeah, this is nice. I got a little toy. I'm gonna play with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's um, nice. No, so so to that point. Um, if Don Carlo says midfields the way to go. Hey man. Who are we to argue? Listen about the Mbappe thing. I mean, we well, listen. He hasn't like hit the ground. I mean, he's doing well. I mean, he's, not shooting the lights out, but um, he just just he's fitted in almost like. But he's it's Mbappe. It is. It is. And and you know what? We spoke about it before. We've spoken about it many times about Mbappe. It, it maybe being a bit of a diva. Definitely too big for PSG, but kind of going. I'm not too big for Real Madrid. Yeah, bro, it's Real Madrid. Kind of like understands where he and is. And it's Carlo Ancelotti as well. You but got, but he's managed respect. them before, but like yeah, yeah. now it's, it's it's different now. You know what I mean? Did, like, they, did they cross over at PSG? I think so. Might have been just before. But anyway, yeah, yeah. listen. You don't don't respect Don Carlo. Nah, bro. Don Carlo doesn't last in football this long without knowing people. I you, mean, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? He's got, bro, he goes, have you seen who I've coached? Have you have you have you seen it? Listen, if you wanna if if you wanna listen, uh, go back through our feed. Um, we're not going to play his portion of Goat Farm, but I did do Carlo Ancelotti Goat Farm. Go back and listen to it. We it's go wild, through yeah. it, where we just list the players it's that he has wild. coached and played, played with. It's, it's wild. It, don't don't forget the guy so was an elite he, player as he, the well. Guy, the guy's the, he doesn't he doesn't do star, he doesn't get starstruck. You know the word goat is thrown around too easily. Too but easily, dude. Sometimes, sometimes. Uh, listen, I want to talk about um, a retiring player. Mm. Um, um, from female football, Alex Morgan. Uh, mm. She announced her retirement uh, just before the last international break. I, th- I think it's about time, though. You know what it is, but I mean, don't let that uh, sleep on what was actually a phenomenal career. Oh, bro! For anybody, for anybody, bro. Like it's, for- it is, and people aren't gonna. They're gonna. Yeah, people. I think people get very fickle when it comes to you know women's soccer and all that, but. Guys, just just look at the body of work for what it is. Look at the body of work for what it is. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, won two World Cups um, and an Olympic gold, which is in the women's game is it's, effectively it's, yeah, a yeah. World Cup. Yeah, um, it's it's held quite highly. Um, she two hundred and twenty four goals in one hundred and twenty three games. Jesus, a fourteen year career. I mean, so there is the football side, but I think the thing, the real legacy of Alex Mor- Alex Morgan, and I think what she's going to do even going. forward, Further, so of course, listen. Let's not lie. Um, she, she first gets everyone's attention because she's not she's good looking, right? She's, she's so she's, right. She's, so she's, so, she's, so that kind of works. She's visually for, appealing, yes. You know, so of course that gets her the yeah, attention of, of other people. But I do think that maybe that held her back because she never won any of the individual yeah, yeah, awards, yeah, yeah. right? I think that does help. That that's that's it's it's kind of like a poison chalice. Yeah, like it's kind of like a bit of a glamour yeah. a, a, a thing. Oh, it's because of the way she looks. No, no, not really. She, the, the, the lady can jam. Yeah. She can play. So, so she first, you know, listen, she first gets attention because that, but I think she was the first female footballer to really break that kind of, I mean, she was in FIFA. I mean, yes. there, there was a, a, the, the journey version of FIFA. Yes, when yes. Alec, what is that dude? Uh, uh, yeah, my, bro- my brother used to do that. Exactly. Yeah. He used to play a career mode and yeah. she, she was in it. Yeah. And then I think his sister in the, it was modeled yeah. on her yeah, career. Yeah. Um, so that was a huge thing, and yeah. you know now now in the new EA games and that you can play as as, as female footballers. And yeah. That, but to have her in the game, so that was kind of the first breakthrough. She's, bro- I mean, you go through America where s- football isn't really soccer. In, soccer. People knew Alex Morgan. They knew Megan Rapinoe. Um, yeah. So Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan was the first one. Uh, she played. Listen, played for Leon. Who, yeah. 
I don't. She won one Champions League with them, but uh, they went to like on a crazy run. Yeah, they did. Leon's women's yeah, team yeah. won like six or seven Champions Leagues yeah. in a row. They were crazy. She played for Tottenham's women's team mm. um, for a while as well. Um, I think at the time Mourinho was there. I think she only played four games. She came injured. Um, but listen, great legacy. She really, I think she was one of the breakthroughs. Listen, uh, another huge thing. Let's not even discredit. She led the. Um, the 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 charge to have the women national team players her in Megan, the US her and Megan Rapinoe yeah to be paid the pl- same yeah, as the men because they're like look we won three bigger. World Cups <laughs> we won three World Cups bro what if they won you know we'll walk down the street people know who we are yeah exactly you know even Weston McKinney yeah, exactly he's not getting noticed you exactly know? um so I think quite rightly she did that and and listen she's gonna she's spoken about club ownership. Mm, um, okay. And you know, in American sports, when you buy a franchise, it's Go speak linked to David Beckham, bro. It's linked to uh, you know an NBA franchise or WNBA oh, franchise. Yeah, exactly. um, so I think she is only getting started. Going to make a big call. First female president of FIFA. Big call. Big call, Tom. Paul's, oh, okay. Paul is big call. <laughs> no, All right. No, I don't but know. Like, we'll, we'll have to give it some time. Listen, I mean, um, Alex Morgan. She uh, listen. She's a couple of injuries. I think got her towards the end. But listen, fourteen. 14 years. 14 years. Is, yeah, um, you've, you've had a decent, you've had a decent. That run. amount of 220, no, sorry, 123 goals in 224 still, appearances. Man, that's man. Still, it's over 50%, bro. You know. You, you're getting a goal every other game. I mean, Ronaldo's on 130 um, odd uh, one internationals. Million. He's got <laughs> 1 million goals, yeah. Going for his 1,000. But anyway, Alex Morgan, uh, good luck on the next phase because yeah. you, 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 you're you going to do the things. Um, yeah. So um, not seeing you on the field, but we're going to see you in more interesting spaces. Anything else from you for... I I know we haven't done a complete five aside, but it's, sometimes it's fine. It's cold. Guys got what do flus. You think, what, what, what do you, you don't think, complete the five aside? What do you think of the mess that's going on at Chelsea? <laughs> like, ownership wise, like what the hell is going on there? So if you don't know, obviously Todd Bowley is the chairman of Chelsea, yeah. but he didn't buy Chelsea with his own money. Yeah. Uh, he got a hedge fund or investment fund. I'm not smart enough to know the difference. Either um, way. And now the guy in charge of that hedge fund, he wants to run Chelsea, apparently. Is that the story? Yeah. And uh, there is a big boardroom battle. Um, it's a pissing contest, essentially. Uh, you know, so the listen, everyone's making the, the, the jury's out on Chelsea. Like Chelsea could as equally finish twelfth as they could challenge for the title. Yeah, like if, if we it's, end the season and Chelsea, won't be surprised. I would because their first eleven is decent. Their bench. It's decent. You know, that, that, I mean, when you bring on, I mean, listen, he is in me. I mean, when you bring on Joao Felix, when you can play around with Pedro Neto, I mean, come Dude. on. Like, you know, the, the Enzo Marisco, like he, he didn't pick his price. Caicedo, they don't pick their price tags. Yeah. Those are good players. So, yeah, like I say, um, they're not even missing Reese James, you know, mm, exactly. and get, get used to it because the dude's like perma injured. Yeah. Um, I think that despite Todd Bowley doing what Todd Bowley does and, and people shitting all over him, I do think he's got the sporting interests at heart. He does have the sporting interests at heart, but it's just that it's a different kettle of fish because he's probably looking at the American model because he's, he's, got, he's got a stake in the Lakers, he's got a stake mm-hmm. in the LA Dodgers. So he's probably looking at that model and saying, can we try to make this work in this space? But, he's, but he, I think there's a degree he knows it works if the team wins. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, uh, okay, like, so, like with most things. Yeah, so I think he understands that. He might not understand it, and maybe it's not transferable. Maybe it is tra- completely sure. transferable. We just don't see it. Um, but I think he, what he understands is that there is a sporting side of this. I wonder if the other guys don't just see this as a money thing, don't just see this as assets, uh, yeah. don't just see, the, you know, just see the value of it, and they're not going to do things for sporting reasons. So, um that's another battle. We we watch that. It's but like you, you've seen, even with what's going on at Man United, Jim Ratcliffe, as much as he is a businessman, he's brought in people who are football minded mm. to run the mm. football side. Because the thing is, you can't have people who aren't, don't have football brands running the football side because no. it won't work. Mm. It really won't work. Cool. Yeah, your commercial side might be doing well, but like at the end of the day, if we do badly on the pitch, that hurts your brand. That is the main thing. Well. <laughs> Fortunately, not for Manchester United because oh well, yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I suppose that's the one thing that keeps uh, United ticking over. But yeah, listen, um, I think the thing is um, the Chelsea project works, 
and everything that they've done and this crazy fucking 75 man first team squad and bro and, and like um, signing uh, signing 99 year leases on players and I stuff mean, like it's ridiculous bro. it's um but listen you come in to disrupt there was a loophole because now you can't sign players on longer than eight years now yeah they kind of closed that because i said okay well it's obviously ridiculous um I do think, though, in kind of like the little bit of understanding that I know between the two the two parties, it just goes, you know, Todd Bowley, the guy knows success. Success makes the money work. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, even though we shit on him, um, the next guy might be worse for them and might just do a complete asset strip. So, listen, that is the close of part one, our five aside, not a full five aside, not full. But, but that happens. You know, sometimes you go, oh, everyone says on the morning, oh, we're coming in. Shit happens, you don't end up with not a full exactly. father side, but uh, those are the stories. Uh, so one of the things we wanted to do as a separate um, series, uh, but, you know, timing and reality, but mm-hmm. we're going to bundle into this, is there are a lot of sports documentaries around. Oh, jeez. Heaps. Bro. And we watch heaps. Uh, it's pro. I, I will. Oh, just on another side, but you know, the Tyson, 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 well, Tyson and who's Jake Paul? Yeah. yeah. Fight's not happening anymore. No, it's been delayed. Okay, cool. Okay, I thought it was cancelled altogether. No, no, I saw them promoting a new date or something. All right, cool. Um, so c- c- coming up, we are going to be, I'm going to be reviewing a sports documentary I watched recently. Okay. Um, and Senzo's just going to chime in? Senzo is going to, because you, you know the story, maybe you've watched it already. And then after that, we've got Senzo's non-football story of the week. This is Working Title FC. <laughs> working Title FC sports documentaries. I love them, though. I love them. So what have you been watching, bro? Oh, I got Amazon Prime. Good stuff. A lot of good stuff on Amazon Prime. I've, I've watched the, new, the the All Blacks one. Right. And then I watched the, the Ashes one. Okay. Lovely um, stuff. I'm enjoying the Ashes one. All right. Well, that's what you've got to bring to the party in the next couple of weeks. I want to talk to one that has come up on Netflix mm-hmm. um, recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wasn't sure if to watch it because I... A football documentary. Mm-hmm. I'm not nuts about the player. Di Maria. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Di Maria's guy. I've, I'm, I'm saving it. Like, of course, I'm still angry with him. I've still got beef with Di Maria, but like, whatever. Okay, so the documentary is called Breaking the Wall. It is on Netflix. It's a three-parter. Uh, get ready to read because narco style. Oh, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, I know. All, all, that's all in also, Spanish. And also, the, that's also what I'm on because I'm, I'm also not for the dubbing bit, bro. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm also not for dubbing. No, I, I can't do the dubbing. I, I tried it. I was kind of like busy doing something and I had it on and I put the dubbing on. Oh man, it's terrible, eh? It's 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 very odd. Because also, you know, it doesn't feel like it's authentic, man. Because Spanish is a uh, you know he or the puta. You can't yeah, translate bro, that. Come to, on, he, you know. he or the puta. You yeah, can't. Yeah, exactly. So uh, it is De Maria's uh, story. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me tell you something. So the reason, obviously, De Maria, um, it's not that he didn't work out at United because a lot of guys haven't worked out at United. It's not their fault. Exactly. It's just the, that he. Never misses a chance to shit on United. United. Yeah, exactly. You know, just just move on. Okay, it's fine. We, we get it, bro. It doesn't work, but like a oh, bro. It's like, dude, you've had bigger clubs and you've won the World Cups. And like, just leave it, leave us alone. Like, honestly, it's, dog, you know, you've done your bit. Bro. We, we we know what you are. Anyway, listen. What I got to say. Oh, another thing of me with Di Maria is obviously he comes from Benfica. Um, All right, right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so you you got a little bit of that, and and Benfica was like uh, shitting all over the Portuguese league at the time, so uh, he was part of that. But um. I got to tell you, changed my opinion of him, and I think what, 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 okay. One of the things about Di Maria is we actually, <laughs> you, the dude is like, it said somewhere in the documentary that in the eyes of Argentinian fans, there are only three players above him, and I, I don't okay. know. I, I think Messi, Maradona, yeah, Mario Kempes. Oh, okay, and then Di Maria. But I'm kind of going. I don't know if you're third, dude. I don't know if you could be third because so his story starts back uh, in the, the the documentary episode one is kind of his early career. Sure, um, starting out as a kid, usual story comes from um, a w- real real working class family. His father sold co- coal. Um, mm. When they tell the story about it, it sounds a lot more like poverty stricken than it is. Yeah, um, I'm sure. Listen, dirty job, no doubt about it. No, but, but they, I mean, but like we also come from, you know, we come from South Africa. Yeah, we, come, yeah. we, go, we we know people that do that do those jobs, and they 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 put food on the table. They send their kids to school. They 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 live a decent life, right? So they were definitely like, I mean, I wouldn't even say as high a middle, but they weren't like poverty. No, they poverty weren't dirt family, poor. Right? It wasn't dirt poor. Yeah, they were dirt 
Middle class. Yeah, <laughs> middle class. I mean, we, we keep things ticking over. Right. Um, and then he kind of like plays for his local club. Um, interesting that his um, father, his grandfather and his father both could have been professional players. His, his, but there was just a different priorities here. Yeah. And one of the things is, not even priority, I think what you understand through it is um, a couple of things you pick up is that what it makes you realize is how much, and I think there's a great documentary or podcast in this. Yeah. In the siblings of famous footballers and what they had to give up. Yeah. Um, especially, especially like South American, African, Africans, mm-hmm. you know, where the whole family kind of has to go, you know, he's got two sisters. Thank God the sisters don't look like him though. Oh, she's yeah. weird looking dude. And I think that's one of the things that maybe why we don't mm. rank him because he looks, he, he looks, looks odd, funny. He, you know, he, he looks, he, yeah, he, he looks, looks strange. Looks weird, yeah. Right. Um, and his sisters kind of like had to give up what they wanted to do for a while because the family moved with him to Portugal. Right when he got transferred mm. to Benfica, and and like, and, I mean, you don't you think look, about that, right? Yeah, and, and but you look at it for what it is now. It all worked out at the end of the day. So, so that's it, right? Um, w- one of the things you also understand is that um, he. So look, he goes to Benfica. Uh, quite funny because book ended. He so he goes to Benfica. He's back at Benfica now. Yeah, you know. And uh, Hoy Costa was his teammate, mm. and now Hoy Costa is boss. his boss. You know, yeah. um, and listen, Hoy Costa is in it. The cost call of who is in this documentary? Oh, bro, come on, you can kind of you can kind of wrap your head so around. So pretty the much all his major Argentina teammates, including Messi. Okay, the wife of Maradona, Hoy Costa, Ander Herrera, Carlo Ancelotti, Mourinho. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no one from Manchester United. Only, and oh, yeah. Ander Herrera talks about the Manchester United yeah, time. They, yeah. um, but of course, they ended up back at PSG together. Sergio Ramos is in it. I mean, come on. Um, yeah, Paulo Diabal is in it. I was surprised Aguero wasn't in it. Um, but yeah, it's just a roll call of people. I mean, come on. Look at look where he's played and the right. people that he's played with. Um, there's like a couple of like candid kind of shot videos with Mbappe. Um, you know, the dude's played. With Blockbuster Oaks, bro. Real. Blockbuster, right? I think he's one of the only dudes that's that's been teammates with Messi and Ronaldo. Hmm, right, um, and obviously that's why Ronaldo's not in it. Can't be. I can't be talking about Messi's best friend, right? Honestly, <laughs> dog, yeah, like come on. Um, so that's the, the first episode. Kind of takes him to Benfica, and just before he transfers to Real Madrid, second part is kind of his journey around uh, Real Madrid, then to United, then to PSG. Yep. Um, Listen, what happened to him at United, I mean, you know the story and spoken about in more detail is that there was an attempted break-in at his house. He confronted the burglars, his yeah, kids. Are, like, that shit. Like, like you can't... But then at the end of the day, bro... If you like, hate the place, like, I don't blame no, you. No, but, like, people don't understand. He still had to go out and play. And he wasn't given heaps of time off about Honestly, it either, right? because the thing is, like, bro, that's major trauma, bro. Yeah, yeah. That so, is major trauma. So, um, listen, I can get it. Okay, it wasn't the best time. Um, but again, don't shit on United. Those ones United things. You you know what I mean. Lots of players. Yeah, those ones United things. They're right. So um, you go through what he did at PSG. Pretty much won everything. And then the final episode is obviously a bit of his international career. Yeah. Um, and we know he got injured in how many finals? There was at one period where there was a Copa America every year. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> yeah. Um, and. The the whole concept of breaking the wall is about how he just couldn't win with Argentina, and yeah. he just couldn't how all win of them couldn't the affection of fans, yeah, right, and how many times they just kept falling at the final hurdle or just kind of shitting the bed, and he's like been around for like, like he's was in the twenty ten World Cup, yeah, a while. Maradona personally called him up, yeah, bro. Then he kind of didn't want to play again. Messi said no, come, bro. I need the dude back. It's like when Maradona and Messi have got your back. Uh, bro, you've got you've got uh, the buy-in of everybody in Argentina, bro. I, I mean, are you actually losing at this point? No. Um, so it did change my opinion of him. And, you know, we go back to the thing about his father and his grandfather. And he says, like, everyone tells him his grandfather was a better player than him. Or, cool, bro. What you realize about Di Maria, what you realize, I think, about these elite footballers is that at Benfica, 19 years old, he got abused, like, um, booed, <sighs> right? Yeah. People turned on him. Uh, Real Madrid, he was never. When Ronaldo's there, Ronaldo sucks all the air out the room. Yeah, bro. Okay. It's, it's, it's hard to be in a room with that guy. In Argentina, Messi's the guy. In uh, you always PSG, have to, you Mbappe's always, the guy. You always have to play a supporting role. Right. So he's always. Uh, Manchester United was a mess. 
Um, oh, but remember the way he started, though. Yeah, but he started like a house so, on I fire. Think he scored in his debut. Yeah, I think. house on fire, but started really. Also well. scored that ridiculous goal against Leicester. That yes, that that that, that lost chip, scoop. Yeah. Um, and um, he has never been front and center, but kind of like doesn't need it. But one of the things you realize about this elite right, this can, he's a baller though. The the belief in himself. He's a baller though. There was they were talking about uh, uh, one period playing for Argentina and like on TV he was being um, kind of like shat on on TV and fans were booing him in stadiums and his father said quit quit and he said no 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 I can't. It's just like that iron will of players. But the thing is, Jeez. but. Paul, it's that competitive nature. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's probably because, you know, you know what you've come from. You know what you, you've had mm. to overcome. I've come this far, dude. I've come this far. And uh, but I didn't just come here just to just to be... His, his family said to him, you know, listen, you could come back to Argentina and play for any team here. Any team. Was like, no, I'm s- staying here. Um, but listen, it gives you an appreciation of Di Maria. The guy has won... Everything. Everything. Everything, literally. Everything. No individual awards, but probably... Ah, uh, bro, but like also, what are you going to tell your kids? That's that, that, that I, pl- I played in a team with people. Like, and also... And, and, and the What fun is it if you're the only one winning in, in a team sport? It, it makes me regret it didn't work for Match United because you go, oh, the, I would love to have that affection towards him. Yeah, exactly. That I think, think he deserves other teams have, have for, for him. him. Yeah. You know, um... And you know, at Benfica, listen, he's playing. He's not the same player. No, I mean, I mean time does its thing. I think he's about thirty-six or thirty-seven yeah. now. Time does its thing, though. Um, you know, so he's he's not he's there. He and he, and he's good for for the new team. Oh, yeah, Benfica, and also but, just to yeah, speak to the kids and mentor um, them and stuff like that. But listen, I mean, when when you are in the company, and so so if you do have that argument about Argentina, and Mario Kempes is like, okay, won a World Cup, don't, nothing wrong. But he didn't go Copa World Cup Copa. Right, and um, it, you're probably the best human who's ever played for Argentina, because Messi and Maradona are not, they're, they're, not on they're, this they're, planet, they're, right? Yeah. So you can say Batistuta, where are yours, bro? You're probably the best human who played for Argentina. Absolutely, and how Di Maria. So uh, check that out. It is on Netflix. Uh, Breaking the Wall. Get ready to read. His wife's a firecracker. His wife will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he wasn't in Manchester anymore. She hey, said, "Listen, I want to get the hell out of here." And no, he's like, yeah, no. Okay, his, cool. Yeah. His, his his wife. Um, you know what? It, what's nice about it shows the people around him. Yeah, a um, lot of and, his and, friends. And also that, 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 that that's important, bro. Mm. It's the people around you because I mean. Like, like he comes back, um, there's like some home video footage of when they came back to Argentina for the victory parade. And then his friends that he's had from childhood uh, invite to the house for like a barbecue. Argenti- Argentinians love a barbecue. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just a normal house and he's there and he loves it. And he's yeah, just course, like, bro. like I'm, I'm here, bro. I'm the greatest human to have played for Argentina. Argentina but exactly. this, I just want to be with my boys and with yeah, my family. Bro. So um, this, I, got, I got a different opinion about Angel Di Maria that is um, talking sports documentaries. Uh, we'll have more of those for you over Absolutely. the season. Uh, next up, we're going to jump over to Senzo for his non-football story of the week. Senzo loves all the sports. All of it. Working title, FC Senzo likes all the sports, loves all the sports, knows a shitload about all the sports. A shitload. Uh, what are you throwing at us today? <sighs> Non-sports story, bro. So, there's a certain music mogul, and he is... Whew, whoa, well, I wanted to talk about this. Well, I thought you were going to go non-football story. So, if I said non-sports, a non-football story. But non-football, listen, but like in non-sports, non-football. The bro. title of the show is going to be Diddy or City. Diddy or City, man. Uh, so, let's talk about Diddy. What, what a mess, eh? Um, it, it's... It's uh, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. Fuck, I mean, and like, like you know, you look at it now, and you're just like, "Cheese, bro." This is someone that, especially as a black male, like you, kind of like looked up to. Sure. And then now to find out what kind of a human being he is, I mean, a lot of us must feel robbed. Because talk to me about that a little bit, though, because that's interesting. I mean, I never saw it that way, but I mean, because Diddy's success, right? Diddy's mogul. Diddy's mogul, bro. And if you think about like. Black men, like there's only a handful of us that, the, I mean, Jay Z's in that air, mm. LeBron James in that air. Mm. But now you're just like, geez, did he, bro? And in terms of the way he shaped the culture and like of what, like, yeah. what it is and like hip hop and all that, like, it just leaves a very bad taste 
in, yeah. in your mind. And also, we've spoken about this before. Things like this don't just come out from nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Like one story I can believe, and if it's a he, like, mm. but like if a couple people are saying that about you, surely it has to be true. And and I'm not, not that I'm condemning him before that, but like, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's um. But listen, the stories have been around for a long time, and 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 there's like um, it, there's a lot, you know. It's kind of like Epstein. Bro, you um, got hit with the Rico, Rico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's mafia stuff, bro. Yeah, but uh, uh, but the, but the thing is, you know, so you, you hear a lot of allegations is that um. Uh, he would have these massive parties and uh, he phoned people. No, that's... Can you believe that? You're sadistic, but if you have to do that, and then you blackmail them. Yeah. Like after you at my house, you did this, this, and this. Like, I mean, I showed you that one picture of a picture of, of LeBron, LeBron years <laughs> ago at one yeah, of his parties, parties, kind yeah, of bro. getting ready to go to the party. Um, do you think people come down with him or just like he's going to take the fall for everyone or what do you think? No, he's not going to take the fall for everyone because if you get denied $50 million bill and also there's a other, there's another big name that was said that was also in cahoots with him, um, Lucien Grange. So he's the CEO of Universal Music. Universal mm. Music is responsible for at least about like 50% of all the music you hear, all the music that comes out. So if if people like that are being tied into this indictment, like what what more is there? Man, this is going to get messy um, and, and I feel robbed, eh? I feel cheated. Yeah, I feel cheated. I feel lied to. I, I, I never, I never looked. Obviously, I, I didn't see that perspective. But I mean, yeah, it's fascinating because it, it's so true, right? Um. So, so what happens? What's the roll call now? I mean, these things like can stay in court for ages. I, mean, I like, I really don't know. But I mean, he got denied bail of fifty million dollars, and fifty million dollars is 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 not change. Yeah, is not change, and they still saying even for no. Diddy. Yeah, yeah. even for. Ch- and they're still saying no, so that kind of tells you like is is the is this something of like uh jeffrey um Jeffrey Epstein proportions like uh I mean it's one of those where he dies in jail like he's gonna, no he's, I mean, he, but like you just wonder how, his, how, 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 how many more jail. powerful people are there well, that's what I'm saying like does do they come down or does he t- take and uh, I, this is audio, but I'm doing air quotes uh, take his life in jail, you know. <sighs> That's heavy, man, because that's happened before. Yeah, man. That's happened before. Um, didn't it happen with Harvey Weinstein? He took his life in jail? No, it was it Jeffrey him? Epstein. Was it Har- Jeffrey? Harvey Weinstein's not a criminal anymore. He got cleared, like, uh. struck off. But, like, you see, it just goes to show, like... Power. Power, dude. So, you, well, exactly. If, if you got tapes... Yeah, if, if you, you got, got evidence, bro. You know, like, and also, the thing is, when you go to the law, it's not about what you know, it's, it's about what you can prove. Yeah, yeah. So... I may know something about you, Paolo, but if I can't prove it, then... Irrelevant. Yes, sir. Um, one thing I, I got to wonder, we're in the year 2024, yeah. right? Why do we still have courtroom drawings? Why do they still have sketch in the uh, courtroom drawings? Why don't they take photos? It's, I don't think you're allowed. It's like, I, I get oh, it. Though. I you can't take the, photos. Okay, are, okay. You schooled me. So what do I know? <laughs> exactly. I mean, imagine, bro, Paolo, like, it's very serious. Like, now we are here. Does, does it come out that uh, he he killed Biggie and Tupac? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think that comes out? Uh, to, bro, anything in, any, anything's on the cards these days, bro. <laughs> All right, this is Working Title FC. I was expecting a non-football story. I didn't expect a non-sports story. But, uh, it's, but it's all it is entertainment. Big. It's all entertainment. That's what Working Title FC is about because uh, sports isn't just about the 90... Football's not just about the 90 minutes on the field. It's about yeah. a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Um, and Diddy probably went to a football game at some what point. I mean? Um, so I want to play something next, um, from a series we did, spoke about it, yeah, man. uh, Goat Farm, where basically what we do is, it's kind of like a hall of fame, um, where, but it's, it's a farm and we let all these little goats mm. wander around on the it. kids, <laughs> kids, um, they can bleat and yeah, exactly. uh, have a, have a good time. And uh, in this particular one, we started off the series. You can go find the full series in our feed, but uh, don't go anywhere. Just listen to this. It is our goat farm induction of Hoi Kosh. We mentioned him once already. Um, he was my favorite Portuguese player. No, he's the guy. Probably ever. Probably ever. He didn't get the success Figo did. But um, we all know he's the, he was oh, the G. He was you the wanna G. You want to talk about a cult 90s football. This is uh, Working Title FC where we speak about Hoi Kosh putting him on the goat farm. Manuel Ricosta, the maestro, 
Hoi, ko- hoi Costa, the maestro. The guy. You guys have been spending too much time together. No, this I just know Paolo. This, he, he knows because he knows the swag that I, I like. know Paolo. So, number one, listen. So, each episode we've had a running order. Oh, we're, okay. we're, we're, I've yeah. had through, Ryan, t- t- say what's going on here. Can look I at my say, other running orders. Can I just say, I've commented on the presentation on the other episodes. Excellent presentation, lots of information. Uh, Paolo's really gone in on the facts here. I mean, not not that he needed to, because he knows a lot. He doesn't need a lot of facts. But anyway, you go down. So now we're on the top page. If you go down to the final running order for this episode, for episode three, it says, I don't need facts. <laughs> <laughs> Manuel Ricochet. So this is off the dome. This is Paolo. Coming for you, no the, the, facts on the page. My dog, this is my from dog. Heart, man. The, the, the original Rolls Royce of midfielders. This is from the heart, so let me tell the, you. No, seriously, this guy was a Rolls Royce, bro. Figo, Figo is my favorite Portuguese player, but this guy. Hoy Costa, let me tell you about this guy. So, he first comes into my consciousness. A lot of him, Figo, Joao Pinto, a couple of them. Mm. Um, when Portugal wins the Under-20 World Cup. Hoy Costa, 1991. Estadio de Luz, the old one. Come Hoy, on, no? Hoy Costa scores the winning goal. The guy. Now, I was in Portugal that year. Okay, my father says he wanted to take me to the final, but there was a th- I, I don't know what it was. So I was in Lisbon, and now we're watching the game, and I see this kid right now. Hoy Costa, number ten. Now you don't get number tens anymore. Yeah, they're, no, they're, they're, they're dead. Uh, Karic, <laughs> help me say his name at Napoli, the Georgian. Faratselia. Faratselia is probably the closest you get to a number 10, but even he has to take concessions yeah. because of the way teams play. You don't get that sit behind a striker, sit behind two strikers, number 10. But Hoy Costa was, if you had to say, chat GPT, describe an old school number 10. Now I see this kid, kind of not skinny, slight. Socks all the way down. Oh, yeah. No, sh- sh- no shin pads. Tux- yeah. No, no shin pads nah. at this point. This is, this is now yeah. when I first see him. No shin pads. Yeah, and no. everyone's talking about it. You know, how, how old is he at this point? At this point, he's 18. 18, 18. Yeah. Oh, so you saw him. Under 20 World Cup. Under like, yeah. 20 World Cup, right? Cool. So he's this kid from Benfica. I'm a sporting supporter. I'm like, oh, Benfica. And Figo's there. Now, Figo's my guy. I love Figo. I've known him. But oh, he, has this, this guy? he has this Benfica guy. Socks down, uh, that's shirt why out, hmm. curlyish long hair, but just strolling around. Like 20 years old, but playing the game like I'm 11, right? And I'm watching it, I go, no, no, there's something here, right? Strolling around the field, like nothing's a problem for him. It's too easy. Just floating around, gets it. bigger players try to tackle him, shirks yeah. them off. You don't even get close to him. Because okay. by the time you've got to him, the ball's gone and he's moved Dang for the one bro. two. Fast, but not fast. You know what I mean? Deceptively fast. Looks like he's standing still, but when he's confronted by a player or two, a shimmy and he's gone. Just round people all the time, like, oh my God, who is this guy? So he then breaks into the Benfica team. Next thing, before you know it, he's moved to Fiorentina. That's where that's when and I was like This is where the action starts. That's where the gun show starts. So now Fiorentina for any nineties kid <laughs> were Box office. Swag, bro. Ryan, they were swag. Firstly, because they played in this phenomenally purple colored kit. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So Ryan there, that that's what Hoy Costa. This was a little bit later, he had established himself, probably like mid twenties there. Two Sox, socks down. All the way down. Oh, well, wait, I'll show you. Whoa, we're right. I'll, I'll come back we'll to that. There, we'll I'll come there. back to that, right? Wow. Socks all the way down. Um, Fila. Yep. Awesome. Right? Nintendo. And Nintendo please. is a shirt sponsor. They rotated between Nintendo and 7-Up over this you period. You know nothing about this guy. F- firstly, what a combination. I've got that shirt. Fila <laughs> and Nintendo. 90s, bro. Because <laughs> I, I don't 90s. think Fila sponsor anymore. I don't, uh, they're not involved in football. I don't bro. think so. Dude, Fila in the 90s was, was the thing. It's a little and bit Nintendo. Of looks awesome. Nintendo. That purple kit. I so badly wanted Nintendo a Nintendo 64 yes. before the Wii, man. my man. I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd hate to know how much one of these things I'd even If you can even get one. Oh, at this stage, I wanted one of those so badly. I conceded, then I got uh, figures, um, Hoi Costa's uh, Portugal shirt from Euro 96. Mm. So, Hoi Costa, this is when he goes to uh, Fiorentina. Fiorentina. And he kind of serves the bullets. To this guy you might have heard of, Gabriel Batistuta. 
only the second greatest Argentinian goal scorer of all time. Batty goal. Batty goal. Okay. <sighs> Messi, you also might have heard him. Only recently broke Re- his goal scoring Re- record. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, Hoy Costa My God. and Batistuta make this deadly duo in Fiorentina. Don't win the Serie A. I think they won the Coppa Italia. They but they, 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 they shook things up. They terrorized Arsenal in the Champions League. Oh, when Arsenal did. were playing at, at Wembley, they but, came and they. You mean Highbury? No, no, at Wembley. Because w- 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 Highbury went down there, bought oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh. True, true, and um, they came and they had a party, right? Back then, you didn't get round the clock coverage like you do now. So they were showing uh, on Saturdays, you used to watch the highlight package. And if I was lucky, I'd get a video cassette from Portugal on the Portuguese satellite TV that I'd be able to see the highlights. Didn't you also subscribe to some like football magazine that used to come through every. Yeah, World Soccer. Yeah. World Soccer. So I subscribed for this guy. It was equal. Now, listen, Figo goes on to be Galactico, Bolando or. Most world's player. most expensive player has a documentary. Everyone knows Figo, okay? But Hoy Costa was just this little presence. Figo's guy. He was Figo's guy. He was Figo's guy. The two of them at times on the field were telepathic. Them in their pomp. Come on, dog. Okay? Them in their pomp. Come on. Were, man, tell me about it. What you know? I can't think of a combo <laughs> of players. Bernard Silva and Bruno are kind of similar. But they, they're just not the same, man. Figo and Hoi, when, when Thick as thieves, Figo, bro. a guy, goes, I'm not doing this on my own. This is my Pippin. Are you, are you that, to, yeah. that, that's an example. What, are, you talking, Pippin. are you talking about like just Portuguese football or yeah, just yeah, yeah, world yeah. football? But give me another comparison because for me. Ronaldo the, Rivaldo. Yeah, that was a good one. That was Come a good on, one. bro. Yeah. Come on. There's, yeah, so it's, it's, not quite, it's not like Batman and Robin because Robin's clearly like, but he, you know you're, the, the guy can. Neo and Morpheus. Think of it like that. So he, he, he has his story. He's at, he's at Fiorentina, has a great time there. Um, 215 games, only scores 38 goals. But he's a guy who doesn't want to score goals. I got Batistuta. You, you score That's them. not my job, bro. Man, him and Batistuta. But this is how clever Hoy Kosh is. It's 10. He, he totally understands Batistuta. Mm. Goes to Portugal, totally understands Figo. He just adapts because he's so clever. Right, Smart, the amount bro. of little slide passes, that little shimmy and a slide behind the defense, batters do just through scoring goals. Okay, yeah. Hoy Costa played in slippers. Right, he used to have cigarettes at halftime. Yeah. He used to smoke That's at halftime. This is the change room smoke. <coughs> Coach goes, "You Hoy Costa, you do what you do, boy." So in Italy, he wins uh, not not much. There's Coppa Italia twice, um, and then they s- agree to sell. Him to Palmer, but the deal falls through. Mm-hmm. So he kind of goes, okay, well, I do want to leave. I've been here a long time. Let me just go to AC Milan. <laughs> <laughs> Where he joins up with uh, Rivaldo, who just signed. And you're going, hey, but you guys are both number 10s. How do you fit into the team? Rivaldo, you were 11, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll both play in the same team. Um, Say it off. Uh, <laughs> so he plays in that, that same side. And... Uh, Wins the Champions League, which I'm super happy about because I think that's what he deserved is to take a Champions League. So he wins that with AC Milan. I think he would have loved to win it with either Fiorentina or Benfica. But his time at AC Milan gets cut short because they kind of bring in this youngster called Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got like... Ricardo is Zexon dos Santos. Rui Costa is just like a practical guy. He goes, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Yeah, it's it's all good. The number ten safe. I'm <laughs> yeah. I, I'm moving. It's so in go, good hands. He goes back to Benfica. Now he had never really played that much for Benfica, um, so he goes back to Benfica and all the statesman. Now, if you thought he was floating around and just walking before, he goes back to Benfica. Walking football, still the best player in the league. Honestly, bro, <laughs> bro <laughs> no one could touch him. There is that World Cup. The one where Portugal didn't take seriously. Him, Figo, and Conceição went there to go. Just, they said, Jogaboni, they said, you know what, rip their game plan up. Bro, him and Conceição were just doing things to people. You know, you, you forget when you see Sergio Conceição now as a coach, you actually forget what a good player he was. Bro. You know, I, I saw something comparing. They said, no, one of his sons is like him. I was like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Dude, your sons are nothing like you. Because Conceição didn't play for a big side, I think a lot of people slept on him. 
but Konsi Sawa's that 2002 World Cup. It's just because you. <laughs> You guys were over It was too much swag. It, it, it was a bit too much. We, we, there was just too much swag there. Too much heat. I also think we, we hammered Poland and kind of got into our fields yeah. and thought, like, this thing's easy. And then uh, probably got robbed by South Korea, but let's just – yeah, that's a conversation South, who, 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 South, go, who didn't South Korea rob? Man, they took out Portugal, Spain, Spain and Italy in a row. <laughs> They said all these Iberian guys out. Man, <laughs> we don't need our players to go to Europe anyway. What do we? <laughs> yeah. What do we give a shit? We got a goose hitting here. We don't care. Yeah. Um. So he goes back to Benfica, wins the the league while he's there, and then he goes, oh, "What should I do? I'm done playing. You know what? I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna be the president of Benfica and loot every English team that wants my players. The scourge <laughs> of Premier League clubs." His time at Benfica has coincided with Premier League clubs being goddamn idiots. And when he Finesse. sees a flight come in mm-hmm. from either Liverpool or London, he, he goes, boys, you want to eat? <laughs> Go get me a Darwin Nunes. <laughs> Go get me an Enzo Fernandes. Go get one of those. Just the those Premier two. League are here. <laughs> Just those two. 187, 193 million pounds. So there's a number that I don't have on me now. But the amount of money that ben- Benfica have earned the highest amount of money from transfers under Hoy Kosh's tenure. No other team in the world, and maybe a change now with the Saudis, but I doubt it. No other team has earned as much money from transfers as Benfica has under Hoy Kosh's uh, presidentship. Now, I am a sporting fan, but you know what? I love seeing Liverpool and Chelsea had their pants pulled down. And I'm willing to bet that Hoy Costa and Gabriel Batistuta are still such a double duo. That Hoy Costa gets you in. And I, I know Nuno, Nuno Gomes also. Ooh, that, that's another guy who slept on. They, they, <laughs> they, they, they tried to replace Batty Goal with Nuno Gomes. Mm. Long hair. They thought it's going to be the same. Didn't quite work. But I think Hoy Costa, so when an English club comes in, hey, Todd, come here. Come, Todd. Come, let's walk down here. Lovely. I took you, I gave some pastéis. Nata, we had a nice lunch. Let's go into the boardroom and sign off Enzo. Oh, yes, better Stuta to finish the deal. Bang. 120 million in the bank account. Thank you. Thank you, I'll English see you next time you need me. And he just keeps producing them. The next one is a youngster called Nev. She's also a midfield. Hoy Kosh is, got him. I've got him. The Premier League clubs. See, Ryan's already got Nev, so I'm going to go look into that guy. I'm going to tell Todd. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> that is my um, latest inductee into Goat Farm. Uh, probably one of the best midfielders you've been sleeping on. The last old school number 10, Hoy Kosh. That unfortunately was, didn't, didn't win anything with Portugal. Lost the Euro 2004 final. Scored the best goal. The goal that put uh, Portugal ahead in the um, match against England in extra time. Yep. Comes off the bench. Diving. Shimmies a couple of English players, puts them on their ass, a veteran Hoy Costa, and just kind of casually smashes it into the top corner. Go look at Hoy Costa goal, England, Euro 2004. <laughs> That's all you need to know about my boy Hoy Costa. No, okay, no. In the goat form. I co-signed that one. I co-signed. Yes, you've co-signed all of them so far. No, 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 no. Because no, 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 these, bro, these, goat these are goat. great. Mate, it's co- these guys aren't even trying. That's the thing. It's like breathing to these like, <laughs> hold on, man. <laughs> all of them have been effortless. Uh, hold on. So it says every. It says ask everything. the head boy who he goes to when he's in trouble. Guys, can I tell you something? <laughs> when I was playing soccer at that age, I even tried to run like Hoy Oh, bro, everybody. He had such a distinctive way yeah. of running. Oh, just, just so loose. Man, loved him. And one final thing, Ryan, I want to show you. This is the holy grail of football shirts. So this shirt never existed. Get the white okay? one. But huh, a Fiorentina kit while they're sponsored by Nintendo with Super Mario on the front. Super Mario, man. I mean, this is 90s. This is not what, you know, now we get Drake on front of shirts and things no, like that. It's not wait, as wait, so how much, how much is it there? So this one happens to An be, arm, leg, and a kidney. I don't even know what kind, what, uh, Mexican dollars. So it is 2000 Pesos. Mexican dollars. So I assume that's. Pesos. Let's, let's check it out in dollars. One rand. Hundred and sixteen dollars. I mean, it's not no, bad. It's two thousand rand. They just don't do have, they have my size. Do, do, do they have my size though? That's the of course, but all those kids come in your size. Hey bro. man, you don't wear this. You don't wear these shirts. So that is Hoy Kosh, the goat farm. Welcome in. <clears throat> Look at him as president of Benfica. No. That is a president. That is a man. I would spend a hundred million on Darwin Nunes with. 
My guy. <laughs> Opinions haven't changed. Mate, this, this, the thing is you have to see him play. Like The, the guy's a Rolls Royce. The guy plays in third gear the whole time. I can't see him like getting frazzled. Like could be 89th minute, we one nil down. Oh, he'll go get the ball, turn three guys and say, yeah, yeah, have it. Oh, I mean, this, I just go back to that Euro 2004 goal against England. Bro. Comes off the bench, just rolls in. Don't worry about it. Golden generation go to sleep. <laughs> Hoi Kosh this year. Um, I'm the guy. So there was a series, call, series called Goat Farm. We'll be playing um, yeah. the four episodes we produced within the show going forward. You can go listen to it separately, share with a friend. Um, and we will be doing more. Cause Absolutely. There's that concept that... Uh, Football fans or guys can just sit around, sports and fans, talk, just name to, players yeah, for, for, until the sun comes. Just down. name players, just yeah, just for an hour, and you go, oh, that, you remember that guy, remember that, that guy, guy, that guy. Um, so Goat Farm tries to produce uh, or tries to prove that. So listen, Senzo, it's been great. This is the first part of a new era. I can oh, feel man. it. I can it's, feel it's so good, so great. Working title, it's like riding a bike. You, you're like, man, I've forgotten, but like, this is great. Working title before was the old Champions League format. Uh, exactly. I feel we're going to dominate new Champions exactly. League format. Exactly. Uh, nicely. Well put. Well, Makes nice sense to do it all together. Um, listen, Sporting Weekend coming up. What are you looking forward to in sports this week? Well, Weekend. Spring Box. Doing the Spring Box. Um, United, let's see what you do. Uh, Curry Cup Final. Ah, you, no. you, you know yeah, one of those, no, okay, okay. Mm, yeah, we'll see, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, listen, looking forward to United uh, Springboks. All is good. You gonna stay up for the game? Eleven o'clock. Ah, depends. If it wasn't Ar- Argentina, man, it wasn't a B depend. team. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, but anyway, listen, working title FC. Thank you for joining. Share it with a friend. Um, we're only gonna go to bigger things from here.